Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Moore, and it is time for another SEL lesson. I can't wait for this one. So today we're going to be talking about care and concern. This is compassion in action. So people feel better when others show them care and concern. So we're going to warm up our brains today by playing clap and wait. So if you remember last time that we had two rules. Rule number one, watch and count the number of claps I do. Use your self-talk to keep track out loud quietly or in your head. Rule two is wait until I say, ready, set, go. All right, so let's get started. Ready, set, go. Hopefully you counted three and you did three claps. All right, let's try another one. All right, ready, set, go. That one was also three, but a different beat. Let's try a tricky one. Ready, set, go. Wow, awesome job, guys. So let's go on with our lesson. So last time you learned what to say when something happens by accident. Who remembers what we say when you do something on accident? Something like, I'm sorry, it was an accident, I didn't mean to. Are you okay? Can I help you? Yeah, any of those things would be good things to say if you accidentally do something to someone. Put your thumbs up and tap your head if you remember the same thing. Awesome. So apologizing or saying I'm sorry is a way of showing that you care about someone. Today, we're going to learn more about showing others that we care. But I have some friends that are going to join us. All right, puppy and snail are on their way. Hi, snail. What's, what's going on, buddy? Some other snails made fun of my shell. I have a bandage on it where I fell and hurt it. They said it looks dumb. I feel embarrassed and sad. Well, I think puppy has something to say. Hey, snail, I heard what those other snails said. That wasn't very nice. I wouldn't have liked it if they teased me that way. Would you like to sit with me at lunch today? Sure. Thanks, puppy. It's nice to know that someone understands. Aw, oh, puppy, that was so kind of you. You really showed that you cared about snail. I really appreciate that. All right, I'll see you boys later. All right, so that was awesome. The puppy invited Snail to sit with him at lunch to show that he cares about Snail. So now let me show you a photo. All right, so we have Dara, uh, the girl, and then we have Ben, okay? So it was show and tell time. Ben was excited to tell the class about his special shell, but he started to hiccup. Someone started laughing at him. Ben felt embarrassed. He went and sat down without telling the class all the things he had wanted to say. Ben's friend Dara came over to see him. Think about how Ben feels. How do you think Ben might feel? Yeah, he probably is sad and embarrassed. The way that we can tell is he's looking down He's staring at his hands, his body is slouched, and we know because of the situation, we can tell he was probably embarrassed by that. But how do you think that Dara feels, his friend? How do you think she feels? Well, Dara is sad for Ben. She's concerned. So concern means you're worried about someone. You want to know how they feel or what's going on. The way we can tell this is she's looking at Ben the look on her face shows that she really cares. She wants to know what's going on. 
And her hand is on Ben's arm, so we know she's trying to be nice to him and comfort him. So let's look at the photo. What could Dara say to Ben to show that she cares? What could she say to him to show that she cares about him? Maybe she'll ask him about his shell since he didn't get to share. Maybe she'll ask uh, him to show it to her. Tell him she's sorry that someone laughed at him and was not being kind and that that wasn't a very nice thing to do. Yeah, she could say a lot of different things to make him feel a little bit better. Dara listened to Ben tell her more about his special shell. Listening is one way Dara can show she cares about Ben. Saying kind words or offering to help are other ways to show that you care. So, how do you feel when people show you that they care about you? How do you feel when someone shows that they care about you? Yeah, maybe you feel happy or glad or excited that they care. Showing care and concern for someone is called compassion. So when we're compassionate, it's showing that we care about people. So compassion is empathy in action. So when you're actually feeling for someone or understanding how they feel, you are being compassionate. So we're going to think about and practice showing our compassion. So we're going to think of something to say or do to show compassion to someone who's having uncomfortable feelings. Remember that listening, saying kind words, and helping are three ways to show compassion. All right, so let's try this one. Poppy feels disappointed about not getting a turn on the swings before recess ended. What can we do to show compassion? Hmm. What do you think? Hopefully you're thinking in your mind what you would do. Maybe you could say, Hey, I'm really sorry you're disappointed because you didn't get your turn on the swings. Next recess, you can go on the swings before me. Would that be a good way to show compassion? Yeah, it would. All right, what about this one? What about your friend and she's feeling frustrated because she can't find her library book? How could we show compassion? Maybe you could go up to her and say, hi. I'm sorry you can't find your library book. I understand that's frustrating. Can I help you look for it? Would that show that you cared? Yeah, I think so. All right, I got one last one for you. I like this one. Your friend feels worried because he is going to a doctor's appointment. Whoever feels worried about going to the doctor? I do. Miss Moore still gets worried and nervous to go to the doctor. How can we show compassion for someone who feels that way? Maybe you could go up to him and say, Hi, I know that you're kind of scared and worried to go to the doctor, but I've been to the doctor before and it really wasn't that bad. I even got a sucker when I was leaving and a piece of candy. You're going to be just fine, but I'm thinking about you. Would that show that you care about them? Yeah, it would. Those are great ways to show compassion. So today you learn ways to show care and concern or compassion. What are three things you can say and do to show in compassion? This is one of them. Listening, mm -hmm. saying our kind words, and helping. There are three ways to show compassion. Our words and actions can make a difference when friends are upset. It makes our school more fun when we care about how each person feels. So now it's your turn. What would you do in this situation? I want you to get your journal out and draw a picture of how you would show compassion if this happened to one of your friends. Your partner or your friend feels embarrassed because he slipped on the stairs. What would you do? How about you draw a picture of it, take a photo on Google Classroom, and upload it so I can see what you would do. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next week, and go show some compassion today.